Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and use ExpressVPN with Netflix in order so that you can watch Netflix content that's only offered in countries outside of the one where you live in. So when it comes to setting it up, all you'd have to do is just go to their website and make an account, get a plan, sign up. And then once you have an account, you just go to the page that'll say download it for Windows and download the VPN for Windows. And you're gonna get this activation code. And then when the VPN starts up for the first time, it's gonna ask you to enter in this activation code. And that's pretty much it. You're gonna be good to go. You'll have the VPN set up and running. So in terms of setup, it's pretty straightforward. And I'll also leave a link in the description that will take you to the page that you need to go to in order to get set up. So you'll find it there. Now, once you're in the app, in order to get it working, you just need to go to this location bar click on that and you'll have this window with a bunch of locations you have the recommended ones and you have all of the locations here you also have the search bar and then you just find wherever you want to connect to so let's say it was italy i just type that in and then we can either click on italy and get a server within the country automatically or click on this arrow and we have some more options within italy itself so we can click on milan and x that and then you have the big connection button click on that and in just a second or two we're connected that's all there is to it we are now connected to a server in Milan. Now, anything that we do over the internet is going to be protected by ExpressVPN. People won't be able to access that information or see what's going on. Even our internet service provider won't be able to see what we're doing because everything is being sent through Italy. Also, any website that we visit will now think that we are in Italy itself. So if I went over to Google and I just search for what is my IP address and I go to this website, what is my IP address.com? And there's a few other websites like this it'll show you that now your computer is located in Italy. That's where it seems. Now, when you go to the internet, any website will think that you're coming from Milan in Italy. So you can verify that just double checking that it's working by going to one of these kinds of websites, like what is my IP address.com and verifying that you are actually connected up to a server in Italy and it's working properly. And now let's say I went over to my Netflix account and Netflix thinks that I am in Italy. It's showing me top 10 movies in Italy today and giving me access to the entire Italian library of Netflix. So if there's any content that would only be available in Italy or the same thing would work for other places in the world like Japan or India, I'd be able to access that Netflix library using a VPN like this. And not just for Netflix, by the way, but also for Hulu or Amazon Prime Video, the same thing will work. You can access content that's only available in a certain part of the world. You can access websites like different cryptocurrency exchanges or gambling websites using this method. Now, just a few more features about ExpressVPN when you're setting it up and you're starting to use it. If you go over here to this little menu bar and you go to the options, you're going to have a few different things here. So two things that are notable, which is the network lock and split tunneling. So the network lock is what's called a kill switch in most VPNs. And this will basically cut off your internet connection if the VPN ever stops working. So if you're ever connected up to a network that's not really very secure, like a public Wi-Fi network or something like a hotel Wi-Fi, something like that, having this enabled will ensure that if the VPN ever stops working, your connection won't become exposed and vulnerable to any hackers or anything like that. It'll make it that automatically when the VPN stops working, your internet connection drops and you lose your connection. And split tunneling link over here. I had to disconnect just to show you this. This allows you to choose exactly what you want the VPN connected to. So if we click on it and we go to settings, we can either choose what we don't want the VPN connected to, or we can choose what we do want the VPN connected to. So if there's ever something that you need to do that you don't want connected to the VPN, that you want it to know exactly where you're physically located, then split tunneling can make it that whatever you need to do won't be connected to the VPN, or you can choose exactly what you do want connected to the VPN. You can do all that with split tunneling. And lastly is the protocol. Now the protocol, the way I like to describe it is like it's a messenger that uh, delivers everything that you're doing on your computer over to the websites that you're visiting. And then also brings back all the information from those websites back to your computer. And just like with any messenger service, uh, some of the main things that are important are going to be the speed, how fast they deliver your package, how well they can secure your package and keep it safe, and also where you can find that delivery service because not necessarily every delivery service is going to be available in every place that you go. The same thing will be with a protocol. So some of them will be faster than others, some of them will be more secure than others, and some of them will only be available over certain networks. And with ExpressVPN, you have two main options, Lightweight and OpenVPN. And Lightweight is generally going to be the fastest one, whereas OpenVPN will be the one that will work on more networks. They're both pretty secure. And in general, I go with Lightweight because I prefer the speed of it, but you can always just choose automatic and Express will pick the best one for you. And that's pretty much it when it comes to using Express. It's a really solid VPN in my opinion. It's one of the best out there. I've used it quite a bit and I found that it gives really fast speeds, very stable connections, and they also have a verified no logs policy, which means that they don't keep any local user data on their own records. If anybody would ever try to get those records, they just wouldn't have them. It actually happened once that the Turkish government tried to get information from ExpressVPN for an investigation and Express just didn't have it. They don't keep anything like that local and that has been verified over and over.
over again by multiple third-party companies checking that out and ensuring that that claim is really true. So overall, ExpressVPN is a really good option. However, since it is a bit simplistic when it comes to VPNs, if you're looking for something that has more features and more flexibility, more things you can do with it, then there's also NordVPN, which is a really good option. This has a lot more features. It's a bit more complicated. And if you're on a budget and you're looking for something cheap, then there's Surfshark, which is also a really good option. It's the cheapest one here and also has a lot of really good features. And I'll be sure to leave full reviews for both of these VPNs in the description below. And you'll also find some discount links for all of these in the description also that will save you some extra money on them as well if you want to try them out. So that's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.